Hi, thank you for joining us for Newton Design Series on Triple O. And with me, I have Stephen. Stephen, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, sure. Um, my name's uh, Steve Hardy. Um, I'm a software engineer at Red Hat, um, and I've been involved with OpenStack since about 2012, originally working primarily on the Heat project, which is an orchestration project, and more recently involved um, with the Triple O project um, and on the PTL for the Newton cycle. Great. And can you please give us a brief description of, of what is Triple O from a project perspective? Yeah, sure. So um, Triple O is a deployment project, um, and the aim of the project is to deploy OpenStack services um, for production uses. And um, it's kind of different to a lot of um, production tool chains, in, uh, uh, deployment tool chains rather, um, in that we actually use OpenStack services to deploy OpenStack um, where possible. And that's where the name comes from. It's Triple O, OpenStack on OpenStack. And so, um, for example, we use um, Heat to do orchestration of the deployment um, and uh, deploy the nodes and configure the services. Um, we use um, Ironic, um, which is the bare metal provisioning um, component of OpenStack, and we use that to uh, provision bare metal nodes. Um, so uh, we use a number of other OpenStack services as well for, for various pieces of the um, deployment tool chain. Got it. And so we're about a month after the design summit that happened in Austin. Can you please share a little bit about what were the hot topics your team discussed and what were the potential outcomes from those, from those discussions? Yeah, sure. So um, we had a really productive summit um, and uh, some of the major topics we discussed were around um, upgrades. And so uh, in the previous cycle um, through Liberty and Metallica, um, we got to the point where we had um, functional upgrade support for version to version upgrades, um, but we were looking for ways to improve CI coverage of that and also to kind of break down the implementation so it was easier to um, specify per service um, upgrade behavior at the moment the implementation is a little bit of a monolithic um, approach and so um, that was um, one topic uh, the other one was kind of composability and just providing more choice so this ties into sort of decomposing the upgrade um, implementation for all of the service configuration as well we want to allow um, uh, having a snippet of data that explains how to say deploy Glance API as opposed to having one big monolithic implementation. Uh, and, and again, this is about allowing people more choice in terms of which pieces of OpenStack they want to deploy and also potentially um, more flexibility for folks who want to kind of integrate some new service, just making that simpler. Um, and the other thing is kind of usability. Um, we had um, a good um, few sessions on um, uh, a new API, which in the triple OpenStack on OpenStack theme is using the Mistral workflow component of OpenStack, and we're expressing an, a, 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 an API in terms of Mistral workflows and custom actions. And uh, also, uh, we're working to provide a UI, um, which is going to just allow um, easier proof of concept deployments and uh, uh, just a, a basically an easier operator experience from a user interface perspective. Um, there was also some really good um, discussion into containerization. That's a hot topic in uh, OpenStack generally, um, and uh, there were some good uh, discussions with those in the Collar community in particular, uh, just trying to figure out um, the next step for containerization in Triple and ways which we might collaborate between the various teams um, who are involved with containerizing OpenStack. Uh, we've already got uh, some container integration, uh, and it's really a question of how we evolve that to become um, uh, more fully featured over the next couple of releases. Got it. And so, that seems like definitely a productive design summit session. Um, what are some of the user needs that you've identified that you want to work on in the Newton cycle? Yeah, so I mean, it kind of ties into a lot of those session topics in that, uh, you know, for a deployment tool chain, one of the key requirements is providing a good upgrade experience and trying to minimize downtime. And so, yeah, one of the operator needs there really is just kind of providing a smoother and more well-tested um, upgrade experience. And so we've got kind of the, the V1.0 upgrade um, implementation in place, and it's a question of how we evolve that to improve the experience for operators. And that includes things like getting better coverage of version-to-version um, -version upgrades in our CI system. And so there's been discussion around um, how we standardize um, on, um, you know, OpenStack infra tooling and uh, improve sort of reuse um, within our CI system. Um, the other one is kind of just enabling more choice um, until recently Triple O's had a fairly monolithic kind of opinionated deployment of OpenStack and feedback from operators has been that they want um, ways to enable more choice so they can wire in um, extra services more easily, they can uh, reconfigure things more flexibly and also control placement. So for example, allowing independently scaling 
um, services onto additional roles, or even wiring in completely custom uh, groups of nodes, um, for example, to run third-party SDN controller services and, and those kinds of things. And so, yeah, that, the composability kind of ties into the kind of like um, operator flexibility. Um, but at the same time, we're trying to improve usability. So that's kind of polishing the command line um, user interfaces and uh, building out um, uh, a new uh, UI system, which uses the um, Mistral-based API I referred to earlier on. Got it. Thank you. And so... Out of everything that you've, uh, that you've discussed already and possibly things you haven't discussed so far, what are the top three priorities, whether they're new features or enhancements to existing features for Triple O and Newton? Yeah, so I think, um, I mean, it really boils down to um, uh, two or three um, main priorities. One is kind of CI reliability. Triple O runs its own uh, CI cloud because we need to support doing uh, ironic bare metal provisioning uh, tests. So, so similar to some other deployment projects, we end up having uh, an independent um, uh, CI system. So we've been trying to improve the capacity there just to provide uh, faster and more consistent results in CI. Um, and the other one, as I mentioned, is kind of finishing upgrade support or improving upgrade support such that we can have that as um, you know, a really well proven um, part of the tool chain. Um, and then the sort of composability model, we're investing a lot of effort into refactoring um, our current implementation such that it becomes much more pluggable. So the idea is to evolve towards having kind of a plug-in um, format for Triple O, such that if you want to deploy any kind of service on your OpenStack um, cloud, you can do so very easily and have kind of a, a flexible sort of plug-in based model. And we, we're doing that via kind of a composable heat template uh, model. Again, uh, the sort of theme is we're using OpenStack components and hence uh, we're using heat as the primary interface for that um, at this point. Got it. Thank you. And so the product work group has been using the notion of themes, which right now are things like scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability. What would you say is the key theme or themes for, for Triple O in Newton? So I guess, um, again, it ties back into some of the things we've already discussed. I mean, upgrades, um, which is kind of related to usability, um, and then usability more generally. So the first thing would be usability, um, and that ties into kind of like the day one experience, just kind of nice, easy to use for proof of concepts deployments, and kind of flexibility in terms of, uh, you know, more advanced operator usage. Um, the next one is... Um, uh, composability. So I mentioned that in relation to um, usability, that's that's really just more about providing a really flexible platform. So we're trying to build a framework um, that is going to enable operators to define their environment that they're deploying in any way they choose. Um, so they can uh, flexibly define uh, the way the networks are wired in, uh, the roles and groups of nodes that they want to deploy, and then um, the mixtures of services uh, and how they're, how they're deployed. So I would say, um, yeah, usability and composability are the two uh, primary themes um, we've been focusing on. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, um, I'm uh, pleased to talk about Triplo. Um, I can just say that if anyone's interested in trying it, um, have a look at the Triplo docs um, uh, repository uh, in the OpenStack org. And there's also um, Pound Triplo IRC channel. If anyone wants to drop in and ask any questions, um, we're always uh, happy to help. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Steve. No problem. Good to talk to you.